So first off, a massive thank you if you watched our first YouTube video yesterday. Um, I do realise there is an audio problem with it. That's down to some interference caused on my microphone. I think it's down to the machinery having no shielding, so there's a bit of static in there which caused it to drop in and out. But we will we will address that sometime soon. So fingers crossed on the next video, it will be perfect. But for now, what we are going to address is this stupid crystallized titanium ring. If you watched our short yesterday, you would have noticed that it didn't do as it was meant to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean this up, get it back to being silver and try some different acid. So first off, let's start by tidying up the inside and removing all the anodizing we put on there yesterday. So here we have our new acid, this is a brick acid. It's essentially the same as the acid that I used yesterday, but it's about half the strength. The thought behind it is, is that maybe the other acid was too strong and it was causing an oxidization layer on the top, which stopped the ring from etching. So let's try this one. And we'll just leave that for about an hour or so now. And in the meantime, we are gonna start building a electrical anodizing station. So to build the anodizing station, we are gonna use this. This is an ultrasonic cleaner that I got two days ago. But sadly, when I plugged it in, it burst into flames. So it's, it's no good. Luckily, I do have a replacement on the way, but we are gonna take this apart and use this top bit as our station. Well, that was nice and easy. As you can see, we've now got the electrical bits out. So I'm gonna detach this from this board then put that back onto there and put the legs back on. Um, the reason I've removed it is because when we run an electrical current through this, I don't want any of the capacitors to actually build up a charge and potentially shock me. So, yeah. So as you can see, we now have our negative linked up to the metal case of this. We have an insulator uh, that just sits in the anodizing solution, which is bicarbonate of soda. Bicarbonate of soda? Baking powder, sorry. Baking powder. And distilled water. Um, the only thing left now is to try it. So as you can see, we now have this set to 16.6 volts. We can control the voltage just here. And by doing so, that will change the color of the ring itself. Uh, I can't remember what color this is gonna turn out, but it's just a test. So all we're gonna do now is drop that in there and see what happens. So that's changed to bronze. Don't know if you guys can see that. So we've got a bronze color on that now. So increase the voltage to like 20 odd, and I think that should take us to 26, is it? Should take us to blue, so let's try that. So as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it on there, it is changing color, and that gives us A lovely blue colour now. So yeah, works a treat, perfect. So we have been in the acid for about an hour and a half. We have a little bit of the pattern coming through but still nothing like it should be. But we're still going to go ahead and anodize it and see if it brings out the pattern a bit more. So let's just power on the voltage controller and we're just going to drop that in there and hopefully it should go the blue colour we had before. Just gotta wait for the amps to drop to lower. Two, one, there we go. As you can see, we have got a pattern starting to come through. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna sand that top layer off, get that to a quick mirror finish and just try and anodize that top layer, see if that actually helps any. As you can see, you can see the pattern there. It's still not how we want it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to sand that top layer off, get it to a shine and basically just anodize it without an etch and see if that makes any difference. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Just waiting for the amps to drop. 
three, two, one. And when he's on the rise, he's finished. Again, an amazing purple colour, but still not the crystallised look we're looking for. You can kind of see the pattern starting to peek through, but we definitely need the etch on there. But again, the acid I've got doesn't seem to be working. So back to the drawing board. So I hope that gives you another insight into what it can be like making rings. It's not all rainbows and unicorns, sadly. Um, again, this was another failed attempt at doing the crystallised titanium. I knew it was going to be difficult, but we seem to have an issue with the acid we're using. So we're going to have a look at hydrofluoric acid. Uh, that was hydrochloric we've just used. And fingers crossed that will hopefully bring out that pattern that we are looking for. So again, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.